Louis Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, it is Felix from n one newscom Like always, all like almost us. Make sure you visit n one newscom for the latest Yankees news and rumors. So let's talk about the Boston Red Sox. If you have been following this channel for quite some time now, I called that the Red Sox were going to be a first place team and possibly win the World Series because the Boston Red Sox had the best starting rotation in Major League Baseball. On top of that, they had two MVPs. They ran away with it and they could do the same thing even if they don't re-sign Kimbrough. Why? Because pitching, specifically starting pitching, wins championships. Is their starting rotation going to be the same this season? Who knows? But it might just be as better because Sale had a whole bunch of question marks last season. And guess what? Homie wants to get paid when he becomes a free agent. So again, Yankees fans, I am going to reiterate this. Do not sleep on the Boston Red Sox. They got pesky hitting, timely hitting, and they could hit with runners in scoring position. Like I said, do they duplicate the success of last season? I think they do because the Baltimore Orioles are going to have a lousy team yet again, and they're going to inflate their record yet again. And let's see if the Yankees can improve their record versus the Baltimore Orioles because that's what happened last season as the Baltimore Orioles gave it to the Yankees and the Red Sox beat up on that team. Obviously, the Red Sox weakness is their bullpen. But somehow they made it work. They had a lousy bullpen last season as well, and even the Yankees got to Kimbrough. But mm -hmm, some players in the New York Yankees couldn't capitalize on it, and we all saw the meltdown. Couldn't hit with runners in scoring position. So this is what I want to tell you guys. If Kimbrough signs with another team, the Red Sox are going to have, hmm, let's say, a little bit of capital to maybe go after a Harper or Machado for a one-year deal. The chatter is out there. MLB insiders are saying, hey, break the record. Both of these guys should break the record for a one-year deal because obviously they are. Again, if Kimbrell lands on another team, the Red Sox have nowhere to go. There's no other closers. There's no other relievers out there that I know of. So if the Red Sox are cornered, I don't know, man. Dombrowski, their GM, he's known to pull off moves to, let's say, put the Red Sox on top. I could see the Red Sox sounding the red alarm and putting their efforts into a Harper or Machado. And I know what some people are going to say. Kimbrough is going to cost, what, $20 million per season, $17 million, something like that, around what um, Arazis Chapman is making. Obviously, Kimbrough is arguably a better closer. And he would demand more. Maybe he's looking for $25 million per season. Who knows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's around $25 million per season because the world is Chapman is making about $21. So $25 is about right. Chapman makes about $17 and then it's adjusted to like $21 to $20. So yeah, $25. So with that money that the Red Sox were willing to pay Kimbrough, who knows, maybe $20, $25, they could use that to let's say sign a Harper for one year, sign a Machado for one year, or maybe long term. Because you know why, guys? Because the Boston Red Sox are the defending World Series champions. And both of these guys, Machado and Harper, they want to play for contenders. And yes, I know, if it's going to be for one year, it's going to be more than $25 million. But what is $35 million or forty to the Red Sox? Nothing. Because you know what, guys? The Boston Red Sox payroll as of now is at $220 million around there. And even if they sign a Kimbrough, they're going to go over that second level of the tax either way. So by them adding a Harper or Machado, it will be the same thing. They'll be paying the same penalties. And I'm not sure if $220 million is the amount. It might be $239 million. They'll still be over that second tax. They'll be paying the same penalties, if my math is correct. I don't know, guys. That was just an idea that came across my mind when I was reading about if Harper or Machado would accept a one-year deal. I'm not saying it could happen or will happen, but if the Red Sox fall out on Kimbrough, they're going to be another competitor for Harper 
or Machado. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.